question I see is Aaron asking about reducing XFS file systems. You can reduce ext3 and 4 file systems. You cannot reduce XFS. And the reason for that is because we dynamically create inodes and stuff in a USB file system. So if we're reducing it, we don't necessarily know where the inode tables are stored for the files that are in use in the file system. With uh, ext3 and 4, it actually creates blocks of inodes at specific places in the file system format. Reducing X, uh, ext3 and 4, we know where those file pointers are stored. And then we can look at them and see if there are any files in there and copy them to other places as we're doing that reduction. So I'm sure that it's not impossible to do that with XFS, but people have chosen to not write doing that for XFS because it is, is challenging based on the nature of expansion for XFS. And the number of times I've had to reduce a file system, I could probably count on one hand, like that I had a reason where I just absolutely had to reduce it. Most of the time you're expanding them anyway, right? So that probably went into that decision process. There are certainly valid reasons. Oh, I just migrated a bunch of data. Now I want to take some of that space back. Maybe it's a SAN volume or something, and you want to give that back to your storage admin so they can allocate it elsewhere. So yes, there's valid reasons, but uh, it's less common in my experience than, than growing a file system is. Usually data just keeps expanding, not contracting. <laughs> yeah. And Eric points out that it was on a system where he made choices at install time that he regretted later and then wanted to fix it. Yep. That's another reason. But if you discover that early enough, just rebuild the system. Yeah. That, that's probably the yeah. route to get you where you go. Probably right. do some weird juggling uh, in rescue mode to make that happen. But yeah, you can't reduce the file system easily. Yeah, I don't think you even want to try to do that. Probably not. But <laughs> if you're feeling adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what I said, Nate? People get really salty when they put data somewhere and then they can't get it back again. That's a good way to make it happen. <laughs> All right. 